Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my haul for Friday, March 31st. Uh, this is from two rummage sales. Unfortunately, they were both on the same day. Um, the bigger one, however, started an hour earlier, so that was good. But they were pretty far away from each other, so I still got to the second one like a half an hour to an hour after it had already started. Uh, I spent, I think, um, thirty, thirty-eight dollars total on everything I'm about to show you, and it was okay. I've had much better luck at both of these two sales, so I was a little bit disappointed. I hope this is not an omen for what the rest of the season's going to be like. Oh, good lord! Hold on. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, um. Let me just jump in and show you what I got. I paid about a dollar for almost everything at the first sale. So um, just assume everything is a dollar until I get to the end and I show you the last couple things. Um, I got this pack of uh, white barn candle wallflowers um, refills. This is Juicy Nectarine. I know it's hard to read that. And that's going for about 15 or 16 with free shipping. And then I got this one. This is Cotton Blossom. This one's going for about 20 with free shipping. Then I got this little trinket box. And I bought it, well, because there was hardly anything else there to buy. But this said um, P. Pestaud. Pestaud. Uh, Limoges, France, so that's why I decided to take a chance. And I have this at auction right now for $19.99 with free shipping, and I do have a watcher on that. I found two little embroidery kits. They're both exactly the same. These are Mill Hill Winter Holiday uh, Snowy Outlet kits. And I put them both up together as a lot because um, this one is complete. It has this little glass leaf in it. And this one's complete except for the fact that it doesn't have a leaf. So I figured I'd sell them both together. And you can use them as magnets. There's little magnets in there or uh, ornaments or whatever. Should get about... I can't remember what I put those up for. $11.99 for shipping? Something like that. Um, next thing I got was this rubber stamp. Come on, focus. There we go. This is from PSX, and I've sold PSX stamps before. There we go. Focus. There. This is uh, 1995, and should make about I don't know, eight to ten on that. And then I got this tube of. Uh, Memoir Liquid. This is a different scent. Sulil Liquid. Uh, I've bought the Memoir Liquid before. It uh, smells like vanilla. It's awesome. I bought the perfume before and I actually kept it for myself. This is a different scent. wasn't crazy about it, but um, figured I would resell it. Should sell for about eleven. And then I got these two bottles of. Well, I didn't know what they were at first. Come on. Focus. There we go. Um, this one says Bosky. This one says Jasmine Sambach. And then it says like Gulab Singh Joramal under there, which I didn't know what that was. Turns out it's um, an Indian company that makes all kinds of perfumes and incense. They've been in business since 1816. These are approximately, because there's no measurements on them, like a 10 milliliter bottle of concentrated perfume oil. So I just put these both up at $9.99 with free shipping just to see if anything would happen because there's no comps at all on eBay. Then I got this aluminum hollow wear bowl with a starfish. Um, it needs a little bit of polishing and it's got a little bit of pitting down here in the bottom. But 
This is from Mariposa, and I've sold I sold a gravy boat from them before and did really well on it. This unfortunately will probably only make about 15 to 20. Then I got this Great Dog Stories book by Albert Payson Terhune. It's got a lot of really nice um, color illustrations in it. Should be able to get about 15 with free shipping for that. And that'll be shipped uh, medium mail. Then a um, couple things that already sold and will be shipped out on Monday. Or be shipped out by the time you guys see this a long time ago. I got this Hakuna Matata mug. This is from Disney um, by Hallmark. This is like brand spanking new. Uh, again, I paid a dollar. Sold it for $19.99 with free priority shipping. And of course, it's going to California. Then I got this bottle of... This doesn't want to focus on this. This is Forever Red. Uh, fine... Fragrance Mist, an 8 ounce bottle from Bath and Body Works. If it wants to focus on that, maybe not. Hello! Okay, anyway. Um, this also sold for $19.99 with free shipping. That's going first class. And then, this was one of the two items I paid $5 for. This is called Light Relief. It's like an infrared... Um, therapy device for pain and has uh, four set four settings start is actually a setting where the lights are um, not flashing and there's low medium and high and then you can add heat to it if you want and it has these red and blue lights on the bottom and obviously you're just supposed to put this on whatever part part of your body is hurting and it has a body strap that came with it Hello. Focus. All right. Anyway, um, body strap, a um, power cord, and or AC adapter, and then it has this carrying case. The prices for these are kind of whoops are kind of all over the place. Amazon wants like 130 for this new. I thought I was going to do much better on this than I did, but when you look at the used ones on eBay, they average, if you want to get rid of them fairly quickly, they average around $40 of free shipping. So that's what I sold mine for, and of course it's going to Arizona. Um, I'm not sure if I can fit that in a flat rate pattern envelope or not. Um, we'll give it a shot, but I'm not real confident about that. Then the last thing I bought at that sale, which I got a really good deal on, were these three, these are like DVD courses. Um, they're from the teaching company and they're all brand new and sealed. I got high middle ages, early middle ages, and late middle ages. I'm actually selling them all together as a set because it's easier that way. And I uh, should be able to get about $80 with free media mail shipping for those, no problem. And I paid five for the whole set, so. That was um, my best deal there. All right, moving on to the other sale. I think I spent about, I spent 20 bucks there. I bought a little more than 20 items, maybe like 22, 23. Um, so she gave me a little bit of a break on the price, but everything averaged out to about, again, about a dollar, maybe a little less. Um, I bought some DVDs to put in the consignment sale that just had this weekend. And I did actually find a couple items there to resell, which I'll show you in my next video. But um, I got this Chicago White Sox scarf, brand new with the tags for a dollar. Might be able to get about 10 on that. Um, got these. There's four of these Pampered Chef. Uh, what are these? Oh, cookware protectors. They actually open up into like a star shape and you put them in between your pots and pans so they don't get scratched. Uh, there's four 16 inch protectors here. A normal set comes with two 16 inch and uh, one 20 inch. So I have four of the smaller ones. Should be able to get about 
15 with free shipping on that, and the shipping is minimal because they weigh like nothing. Got a couple Christmas ornaments. Got this Hallmark keepsake, Dear Friend. It's like brand new in the box. Uh, maybe about 10 on that. Same for this. This is a Lennox, um, let's see, heart. Hello. Wake up. Heart of America ornament. There we go. Um, there's a bunch of these, though, so I'm not hopeful for anything above 10 on that. Then I got this Creative Cruel kit. Oh, come on. Turn my phone off or mute it or something. And it's all telemarkers. It's just insane. I never answer my phone. Um, this is called Night Owl from Erica Wilson. It's dated 1968. And this one's actually finished except for the fact that someone has to finish his feet right here and his face. Other than that, it's completely done. Um, I think I put this up for 15 with free first class shipping. And then, last but not least, there's this DVD. This is Batman and the Cape or Return of the Cape Crusaders. I got this free off the um, free shelf at the library. These sell consistently for about $13.99, so that's not too bad. Um, got this Sanford and Son first season at that second rummage sale for about a dollar. Might make about 10 on this. It's better if you have, obviously, the whole box set. Uh, Garfield the movie and Garfield's Fun Fest together cost a dollar. I think I put this up for $8.99 or $9.99 free shipping. Then these two already sold. Um, Miyazaki's Spirited Away which is an anime movie which is one of my son's absolute favorites. Uh, he loves this movie. That sold for $7.99 with free shipping. And then Gumby the Movie, which I've sold before and had really good luck with. This is a good DVD to find. Um, consistently sells for about, I think I sold it for $14.99. Um, I don't know why it's so popular, but it is. So, that's it, guys. Like I said, nothing really earth-shattering, unfortunately. Uh, hoping that the next rummage sales coming up are much, much better. So thanks for watching everyone, good luck with your sales, and I'll talk to you soon.